39-year-old Prince Kojo Hilton has been painting for over 18 years. His themes are mostly about social issues including health, education and youth empowerment. Hilton's paintings have on several occasions led local authorities to improve their communities. Hello, it's me. Here in Africa where I come from, we um, artists are not really um, sort of recognized and not even seen that much as to solving problems with, with what they have. So we have been limited. We, we, we uh, have never been given that opportunity to express or to bring out what it's truly inside us. So you see artists and they are only painting to, to, to make money. But you're not painting to solve problems. Okay, so I believe our true duty as artists is to solve problems. When Ghana recorded its first case of coronavirus, Hilton wanted to help in the fight using his paintings to create awareness. His latest artwork shows health workers helping a patient. Hilton hopes to draw attention to the dedication of health workers and mobilize support for them amid the pandemic. As I was watching TV, I said, what can I do? What can I do? Okay, then let me uh, paint an art piece or create an artwork to celebrate these health workers who are giving out their best. They are, they've dedicated their lives to, to, to save humanity. At least if you are able to appreciate them, to recognize them, it will give them that morale, that uh, um, joy to continue to do what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Today, Hilton is visiting one of Ghana's COVID-19 treatment centers in Accra to learn about the plight of health workers here. Ghana has one of the highest numbers of infections in Africa. This facility takes care of COVID-19 patients who are in a critical condition. But the health workers here complain of lack of adequate personal protective equipment. They say poor working conditions have exposed many of them to the virus. And day in and day out, we have so many health workers getting infected. And when that happens, it means they have to go off water, which puts a lot of burden on the few people that are remaining. And so it has not been easy, really. To support the plight of the health workers, Hilton's painting is to be auctioned with the funds raised donated to support the COVID-19 fight. He is also mobilizing other artists in Africa to paint on a dedicated day this year to be known as the International Visual Arts Day for Health Workers. If you are if you're a graffiti artist on that day, you walk into any hospital, you do graffitis on the wall, you go to uh, any children's ward, you design there to make the place look nice, you know, if you do art exhibitions and it's going to be art and health. The whole event is going to be art and health and celebrating, art, uh, celebrating um, health workers. Hilton hopes his support to the fight against COVID-19 will inspire other artists across Africa.